hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is ayo thank you for stopping by again and if this is your first time on this channel you're definitely welcome do well to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get to see more of my content and in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to make this really stylish mick made dress and without further ado let's get started and so guys for this tutorial i'm going to make use of this flora crepe material all right and also you are going to need boning for this uh, tutorial okay so make sure to get a boning of course it is actually optional right but on the style inspiration there's boning on the dress so i'm going to also uh, make use of it all right and to get started i'm just going to go ahead and draft the upper part and as usual i'll go ahead and start by marking the start line so on this straight line that is where we're going to start all our measurements and the first thing to decide is how off we want her dress okay for the off shoulder you can go ahead and use four you can use five or even seven depends on how much you want to show okay so i'll just go ahead and use 4.5 for this tutorial so as you can see i've already placed the taper in a way that 4.5 inches is already out okay so right now i'll just go ahead and indicate the chest line all right and after that i'm just going to go ahead and indicate the bust point the under bust point and here the waist line and after doing that we are going to come down from the waistline by three inches as you can see on the style inspiration the half length didn't stop on the natural waist it is a bit lower than the usual okay so that's why i'm going to go ahead now and add three inches right from the waistline okay and for clarity i'll just go ahead and label each part right here is the chest line here is the bust point and here is the under bust and the next line here is the half length and right here this is the extra we added to the half length and the next thing to do is to come to the shoulder line here and we are going to indicate our shoulder divided by two in this case it is seven inches all right and i'll come to the uh, chest line here and i'm going to mark the same thing that i have on the shoulder line which is seven inches i'm going to indicate that also on the chest line here and up next i'll just go ahead and connect the point together on a straight line like so the next thing to do is to insert the body measurement so i'm going to insert quarter of my bust circumference which is nine and a half inches right here i'm going to indicate that here and also i'm going to add seam allowance of two inches okay so i'm going to come to the under bust and whatever i have on my under bust circumference i'm going to divide it by two and i'm going to indicate it right here and I also go ahead and add two inches seam allowance and I'll come to the waist line here. I'm going to impute quarter of my waist circumference. That is my waist circumference divided by four. And I'm going to indicate that and I'm going to also add seam allowance of two inches. All right. And I'm going to come to this lower part here. You can just go ahead and measure from shoulder to this uh, new half length that we have. And when you get that, you are going to just go ahead and measure where that point is on your body you are going to measure the circumference all right and whatever you get you are going to divide by four and i'm going to indicate mine right here okay and i'm going to also add two inches seam allowance to that and the next thing to do is just to connect the points together and the next thing to do is to come to the uh shoulder line here and we're going to come inward by 1.5 inches all right we are doing this because we are making an off shoulder and we don't want the neckline to be gaping okay so we are going to just link that point to the chest line okay and that is going to give us our hammer cuff and after doing that i'll just go ahead and cut out the pattern And right here guys after cutting the pattern this is what it looks like and i've also gone ahead to cut an identical pattern all right we're going to use one for the back piece and we're going to use one for the front piece so guys i'm going to use this pattern here i'm going to use it for the back piece and i just indicated that there all right and this other one we are going to use 
for the front okay and for the back piece we are going to go ahead and modify it a little bit all right the back neckline i don't want it to be straight so i'll come down by 1.5 inches here and i'll just go ahead and link it to the other side there all right and it's going to give a kind of v neck all right this is totally optional you can leave it as it is or create your own desired neckline for the back all right i'll just shade this part because we're going to cut it off later on and the next thing to do guys is just to go ahead and come inward by half an inch on the waist area here all right in order to uh eliminate zipper bulge okay so i'll come inward by half an inch and i will link it up like so and after linking it up, I'll just shade this part also, all right? And the next thing I'll do is just to come up by 1.5 inches, all right? And I'm going to indicate that. Then I'm going to connect it towards the side on a slant line like so, all right? And up next, I'll just shade this part also. And all the parts that we shaded, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And with that guys our back pattern is set and ready okay and moving to the front piece the next thing to do to the front piece is just to come to this on the bust line here and we are going to cut it through all right all right so i'll just go ahead and label the first part a and the second part here b and right about now this is what our pattern paper is looking like we have both the front piece here and also the back piece and we are going to go ahead and use the pattern to cut the main material and so right here guys this is the front piece okay and what i did was to go ahead and add extra 10 inches right from the center front okay i added 10 inches and right here guys on the under bust i added half an inch joining allowance okay we're going to use that to join it to this other piece of the front pattern and this other part here that i label b i also went ahead to add joining allowance to read all right but right on the waist area i didn't had any allowance to that because we've added extra inches to the half length already and lastly right here on the neck area i added 1.5 inches folding allowance to it and for the band that i label b i cut two pieces of it and right here this is the back piece as you can see i added zipper allowance to the back piece and also half an inch for uh folding the neckline okay you can add one inch in order to be able to fold it since i added half inch i'm going to be using a bias to turn the neckline and for the skirt part i went ahead to cut it off camera since my focus is on the upper part okay and this skirt is a 180 degree flare skirt if you don't know how to do this i will drop the link up there and i'll also drop it in the description box below so that i can go ahead and watch that all right and the next thing i'll do is just go ahead and cut the sleeve and for the sleeve part i'm going to be using this pattern paper to draft the pattern for the sleeve okay and the first thing we need to determine is how wide we want the sleeve to be and for the width of the sleeve i'm going to be using 24 inches please note that this pattern paper is on fold all right when you open it up it's going to give you 48 inches all right so i'm just going to go ahead and indicate 40 24 inches on this pattern paper and for the length of the sleeve i'm just going to go ahead and use 18 inches for the length of the sleeve and i'll just indicate that here then i'll square it up and having done that the next thing i'll do is just to go ahead and create the space for our elastic thread all right so i'll just come down by 1.5 inches from the top right here to create the casing for our elastic at the top part all right and i'll repeat the same process on the hem of the sleeve I'll create a casing of 1.5 inches on the hem of the sleeve also. And the next thing to do is to add hammer to the sleeve. And what I'm going to do is just to use the top part that we just cut out, all right? I'm going to use the same arm hole that we have there. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and fold in the allowance that we have on the top part here. And I'm just going to go ahead and align it correctly to that of the sleeve and i'm just going to go ahead and copy the armhole that we have here on the top part so that we have the same armhole as that of the sleeve and i just indicated the allowance on the dress okay on the top part 
and I'm just going to you know go ahead and indicate that allowance on the sleeve so I know where to join later on when we're joining the sleeve all right so I just connect on the straight line and after doing that I'll just go ahead and extend the armhole to the top and right there we have our ham hole for the sleeve and when you match it to that of the dress you see that it matches correctly okay and right here this is the same allowance for the sleeve all right and the next thing to do is to go ahead and cut out the pattern and i'll use this pattern to cut the sleeve of camera And to start sewing this is the front piece and the first thing i will do is to chalk out the 1.5 inches that we left for folding the neckline okay so i'll just go ahead and create that straight line of 1.5 inches all right for folding the upper part here and the next thing to do is to come down from there by two inches and right from that two inches we are going to stitch it down and that's exactly what i've done here and the next thing I'll do is just to open up the stitched part like so and I'm going to give it a very good press and having done that I'm just going to go ahead and fold the upper part all right using the allowance that we left there so here I'm just spinning as I fold okay and after doing it like so I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it and right here guys I've gone ahead to stitch the neckline just like i have said all right and this is what it looks like on the wrong side okay and the next thing to do is to get our robes all right and we are going to insert these robes inside the fold that we just uh, made all right and these robes that i have here i have two pieces and they are about 40 inches long so here i'm just inserting the safety pin inside the rope and i'll just insert it inside the fold that we just made all right and when the rope gets to the other hand we are going to go ahead and top stitch on it to make sure that it doesn't pull in again okay so we are going to repeat the same process to the other side and right here guys i've gone ahead to insert the ropes on both sides of it okay and the next thing we are going to do is to pleat this down part on the band okay but before I proceed to that, I'm going to work on the waistband, okay? The waistband on the Style Inspiration has boning panel on it, okay? So here I have my bias and my boning. So I'm going to pick up the waistband and I'm going to create panels on it. So right here, guys, this is the waistband, the part that we labeled B earlier on. So here I'm creating bone casing of 2.5 inches interval, okay? So I'll just go ahead and mark 2.5 inches all through the band okay and i'll make sure that i label it okay and i'll do the same thing on the other side of the band then i'll create a straight line on it note that 2.5 inches is just what i want to use you can use lesser than that or more than that just divide your waist into uh small portions okay make sure that you don't touch your seam allowance all the lines that you're going to draw is just going to be on your actual waist all right just like i have done here all right and on this line that i marked i'm just going to place the bias on it and i'm going to stitch on both sides and that is where we are going to insert our boning and that's exactly what i've done here guys i've gone ahead to stitch the bias on the straight lines that we marked earlier on i stitched it on both sides and this is what it looks like right now okay and before we insert the boning i'm just going to go ahead and pleat the upper part on the waistband right now and the first thing i'll do is just to go ahead and find the midpoint of the waistband like so i will notch it and the next thing i will do is to align the midpoint of the waistband to the midpoint of the make made part all right then i'm going to go ahead and pleat on it all right and after pleating the upper part on the waistband this is what it looks like on the right side okay and when you flip it to the other side this is what you would have and the next thing to do now is just to go ahead and get your bone all right 
I went ahead to iron this bone in in order for it to be straight like so all right I don't want it to be bending okay so the next thing to do is just to measure what you have here leaving an allowance for joining the lower part okay and I'll just cut it and I'll use a masking tape to wrap the sharp edge all right and after doing that I'll just insert the boning on each of the bone casing And after doing that, the next thing we want to do is to cover these raw edges, okay? And to do this, we are going to pick the other waistband that we have, all right? The lining piece. And we are going to place it like so on this part here. And we are going to go ahead and stitch it all the way down. And that's exactly what I've done here. I've stitched it to the top part. And this is the wrong side the raw edges has been closed and here this is what the right side looks like and the next thing to do is to work on the back piece and what we need to do is just to go ahead and fold the neckline of the back piece if you need to add a lining to yours you can just go ahead and add lining piece to yours okay but in this tutorial I'll just go ahead and use a bias to turn the neckline and having done that I'll just go ahead and align the front and the back together all right align it correctly and i'm going to stitch the side and that's exactly what i've done here guys i've gone ahead to turn the neckline with a bias tape and i also went ahead to stitch the side using the seam allowance that we left and here i'll just trim off the excess at the side so right here guys this is our sleeve and i've already gone ahead to join the sides together as you can see right here and i also went ahead to fold our casing all right right on this down part here and also at the top of the sleeve remember that we are going to insert an elastic through this all right so make sure to leave an opening on the m line all right for the elastic to pass through and another thing that i did was also to add a paper stay to the sleeve just so that it is structured like we have it on the style inspiration this is actually optional but if you want it to be structured you are going to need a stay for the sleeve and if you are going to be adding a stay to your sleeve please go ahead and also add a lining piece to cover up the stay i do not have a lining piece on ground so i just left it at that but for yours please go ahead and add lining piece to cover up the stay all right and the next thing we are going to do is just to go ahead and insert our elastic through all right and first i'll just go ahead and measure nine inches for the upper part all right for the elastic to run through the upper part i will use nine inches and for the uh down part i'll just go ahead and measure my elbow circumference and i'll use that to cut an elastic for it so right here guys this is our sleeve after inserting the elastic all right to the upper part and also the band area and the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and attach the sleeve to the dress so right now just go ahead and align the joining of the sleeve to the joining of the top all right and i'm going to pin it all the way around then after pinning it i'll go ahead and stitch it together and right here guys i've already gone ahead to attach the sleeve to the top part and the next thing to do is just to go ahead and attach the skirt part to the top part and after attaching it i also go ahead and install a zipper to the back and i'll show you what it looks like on the mannequin 